Raising the bar on what you come home to every day doesn't have to mean raising the price tag. Erica Gonzalez visits a local designer to show us how to elevate the look of our spaces and places with a few simple concepts. Hi, Erica. Hi, Catherine. It is wonderful to meet you. Today, I think we should talk about four things that are easy and accessible that all of us can do to elevate our home. This is gorgeous. What are we talking about in this room? Let's look into the living room. So here we're going to talk about pattern and texture. Both Scary of which to me. Okay, that's like texture I can do, but pattern I'm like, oh, how do I incorporate? Don't be scared. It is intimidating and you do need to put a decent amount of thought into it. Okay. But everybody can do it. And the reason why is you just need to look at small, medium, and large. And if you get all three into a space, you're going to have an added sense of dimension. So for instance, we have a geometric, a large geometric pattern on the floor. Right. Then if we look at the walls, mm -hmm. We have a really small, tight, tight, small like a pattern. Directly on top of it, we have artwork, which is that same square. Technically, we could say it's a bit of a medium-sized yeah. pattern. Mm -hmm. So texture and pattern, but you gotta have small, medium, large. Yep. Let's come on into the dining room, and we're gonna talk a little bit about color. Okay. Um, so. Oh my gosh, your kitchen. We committed what to a color. A color. Yeah, you did commit. That's beautiful. It's a deep kind of eggplant, eggplant maroon. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And then what we did is we brought a lighter version of that color onto the dining room wall. Oh. Okay, so I also see purple in the living room too. So that's not coincidence. What you're doing is you're creating what you call a color story. What is sort of um, the minimum and maximum Two is colors easy. that I would have in my house. Two, is, two is really easy, okay. right? Think of blue and white. Sure. It's a beach house. Okay. It's easy. And if you then want to ramp it up, add other colors within that blue and white of different tones. So a light blue and a dark blue. While we're here, let's talk about lighting. What I want you to look for is soft and warm. Look for 2,700 Kelvins, no more, maybe 3,000. Don't look for daylight because okay. you're normally turning your lights on at night. And why do you want your house at night to feel like daytime? Last thing we should talk about, Erica, is time. Okay. And patience can really help. I mean, here's a perfect example. I've got a desk with no yeah. chair, but I want the right chair because it's the first thing you see yeah. when you walk into the house. I know what I want, but I haven't found it. Okay. And that just kind of gives people a little bit of grace, you know, just relax. Yeah. It should be fun. Mm -hmm. um, and pieces are going to come to you at the right time. All right, this has been really helpful. I think this is all really useful information. Thank you so much for having us in your home, your gorgeous home at that.